Hi, friends. Welcome in. I hope you're able to join me. We're going to be doing a little bunny pinwheel pair tonight. So hopefully you're available and you're ready to craft with me. I missed you all. I hope that um, I hope that I can get my other page back really soon. But in the meantime, at least we can see each other and craft. I um, realized like yesterday when I was crafting, I was crafting for myself and didn't realize it until after I got done <laughs> that I was only crafting for me. And what do you know, I ended up having to edit it and post it. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the new hop sign that we made. If you get on, say hi, and I will show you what we're using for our craft tonight. So I believe that we, I haven't used this platform before, but I do think we have a chat function. So I'm just going to test it out really quick and just make sure everything's working. Um, if you can chat with me, Hi, Jackie. Okay, good. Am I sounding okay? I've never used this platform before for a live video, so I hope I sound okay. You'll just have to let me know. Okay. Hi. Oh, I'm so glad to see some of your names, Donna and Jen. Hi. Okay, so I'm excited. I'm excited. I get to see some familiar faces, some familiar names. I'm so excited. There's chat. I can still talk to you all. I'm feeling a little bit better. This week has been... <laughs> very trying to say the least. I am very patiently, impatiently waiting and I'm not really quite sure what the holdup is, but a word to the wise, change all your passwords. Don't change the passwords, people. Okay. So we're going to be making little bunny pinwheels tonight. So we're going to be using some nautical rope. We are going to be using some jute twine, of course. I am using, you remember how I save everything? I am saving, I saved one of these canvas is from one of our crafts that we made. So I'm actually going to be using this tonight. So I pretty much save all that stuff and I, I pull it out when I can. I have a couple of these little burlap roses. Um, and then I have some buffalo check ribbon. I have some beautiful lace that Deborah sent me, um, some lace ribbon. And then I'm actually using this size ribbon spool as a stencil. So, hi, Kathy. Hey, Billy Joe. Oh, okay, great. I'm so glad y'all are here. Okay, so I'm going to get back a little. I'm actually using my camera on my computer because apparently you have to have a certain amount of people on YouTube to use your phone. Did not know that. I'm learning. Um, so, hopefully this is okay. I know it looks a little different than normal. All right. So, what I'm going to do is create two stencils. Um, oh, Jen, you're so sweet. Hey, Cynthia, Cindy. Okay. So I'm going to create two stencils for this because we're going to have a boy bunny and a girl bunny tonight. And these are really, I, I saw this, an idea for this on Pinterest and I just, I had to make them. So I hope you guys make them too. Cause I think they're going to be really cute, really simple to make limited supplies. So you really don't need a lot of supplies either. Um, and so let's see how they come out, but I think they'll be cute. So I just use that to create a stencil of two of the circles. Can't tell if I can't tell if you can. There we go. So just two circles on the stencils. Aw, you're the best. Hi, Mimi. Um, let me cut these out. We're gonna cut these real quick. Again, this is just canvas that I had left over from uh, one of the six by eight canvases that we repurposed for another craft. So I always say, hang on to that stuff. You just never know when you can pull it out and use it. And so tonight, that's that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to pull it out and use it. I kind of have a little drawer that I throw all that stuff in, you know? So I'm glad you guys are finding me. It might be a smaller group tonight. I'm used to having a lot more on here. I really hope Facebook gets it together. I don't know what the holdup is. I am who I say I am, but I don't know. I guess they're just making sure everything's safe. I'm getting impatient though. Y'all might see Southern Crafts Corner 2 popping up here this week if they don't get it together because I can't just keep sitting in my house not crafting. This is getting weird. I've been talking to all of you guys too. I was like on an island <laughs> messaging you through Etsy and everything. I'm like, somebody find me. I'm stranded. Um, I am also going to um, use, we'll get to that part. We'll get to that part. All right, let's get this part first. So you can see I have my two little circles. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut open this rope and we're going to use this. We're going to make our little, straw, our little strawberries. Now I got strawberries on the mine. Little bunny picks. So let me go ahead and get these. Cut this cut open. I think it should be enough for both of them. 
But I think these are cute. I saw an idea like this on uh, Pinterest and I was like, oh my God, I got to make those. So I'm just going to cut this. There's always at the end of these a wrapping around them. So I'm just going to take the wrapping off first and um, get that off so I can, that can be our centerpiece. And so on my circle, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to make sure it's twisted really good. Actually, let's go ahead and pop some glue. As soon as you take that off, of course, the first thing it wants to do is start unraveling. So I'm just going to get some glue on here and, and get it spun back nice and tight on here. So, Hi, Susan. Oh, I'm glad you found me. I was just talking to you earlier today. Hey, girl. I know. I This is all I got for now. I, I, you know what though, I was talking to Jackie's on here too. I was talking to her today too and I'm getting impatient. So if it doesn't come on soon, y'all will start to see me popping up on Facebook with Southern Crafts Corner too. I don't want to lose my name. I love my name. So, okay. So we're going to start this in the center and I'm just using this canvas because I feel like it will be easier. You can, you can just freehand it too and not use something to go on top of, but I really want to make sure my glue is really tight because a lot of times these will unravel. So you're gonna to wanna to make sure that as you're spinning and keeping your little pinwheels that you're keeping it really nice and tight and you're gluing it underneath and in between the rope as well. So that's what we're gonna do first. We're gonna just start kind of spinning it and going, just allowing it to go the direction that it wants to go here. So just get your glue, keep it nice and tight. I was going through withdrawals. You and me both. I know last night I went live for myself. I didn't even realize that I was live by myself. I felt so dumb. <laughs> I got done with the video and it was like, you can edit your video now. And I was like, I can what? And I didn't, I, nobody was talking to me. So I was like, oh, I guess I can't chat with people on here. <laughs> so then I felt, I was like, oh, well, I guess I can edit it and they can not watch my bloopers, which... I don't know if you guys enjoyed that or not, but I was so happy with my little sign, how it came out last night. So I was like, okay, I'm just going to edit it and post it. I, I I just love it. It's sitting, it's already out. Mike, Mike loved it too. He goes, that's so cute. I put it up on my entertainment center. I realized too, I, I, I started pulling out Easter stuff and I'm like, man, I don't really have a lot of Easter decorations. So I'm kind of excited about all my crafts this time. I didn't know if you were going to be here tonight since it's Sunday. Listen, I got to make up for lost time. I've been sitting here with all these ideas and I'm like, I'm, I feel, I feel like I, I'm like a criminal or something over here. <laughs> like I got locked out. It's been sad. I've been sad. But, you know, at the same time, I, you know, I'm trying to um, not dwell on it. You know, I, I guess it could happen to anybody. I'm just sad that my, my, I can't access my page. It, it made me sad. I've been getting a lot of messages and, so much, so many of us are together almost every night. And so it felt like, you know, I lost my family. It was weird. I really, I had a couple of days where I was just really sad about it. So I had to find a way in and, and this works for now. I, I will, you know, I will be back on though, whether or not it's on my original page or somewhere else. So, um, you know, I know how to find all of you and you'll be in the loop and then hopefully we can, we'll build it back. I mean, it is what it is. What's meant to be is meant to be. I love the hop sign. Oh, good. Hi, Dana. Oh, I'm so glad you found me. Hey, Leslie. I got more done to my beehive. You got to send me pictures. I know you're working on all kinds of cute stuff for your house. We finally, we got a bee kit up. I made a little bee kit and you can change the sayings and stuff. Mike, little cut out little bees. And then we're making bigger bee cutouts right now too for a custom order. So Jen, I'll send you pictures of those. I know you're looking for bee stuff, um, but we did do a cute little bee kit um, on the page. I had to do something while I was sitting here off. I'm like, I wasn't ready for vacation. I'm not trying not to be on vacation right now. Yes, I hear you. We get so used to seeing you. I know it is like we're family. It was, it's dunk. I'm glad you guys like that. I love that little, I thought he was so cute. It was a cute little overhaul. And I, I had the paint sticks and I had the, so here, here's our little pin mill so far. Can y'all see that? Here we go. So you can see it's really nice and tight. 
got to figure out the lighting with this camera. With this, I know it's not the same as my phone. I'm sorry. I, I know the quality doesn't look the same. It's because I have to be on my camera, on my phone, or my computer. I can't talk. Um, apparently, you have to have a certain amount of subscribers to use your phone for YouTube. I did not know that. So um, last night I was on my phone, and that's why I didn't go live because I was just filming myself, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Joanne's has B stuff on sale. There you go. Oh, I know. It's like I just disappeared. It literally, it was, I, I literally got kicked off the face of the earth. It was freaky. My mom was calling me freaking out. It was, it was kind of scary. I'm not going to lie. Protect your, protect your stuff, y'all. It was, it was weird. Um, so yeah. I, everybody was calling me, all my family and stuff. And they're like, are you okay? I had a friend that was like, the last thing I knew you were at the drive-in and then I never heard from you. <laughs> I was like, I'm okay. Someone stole my stuff. I don't know what to do. Uh, okay. So here's one little pinwheel. So this is going to be one bunny. Let's get our other one done. This one we're going to shape up a bit too. We're just going to cut some of this excess here. And just shape it. Get it as much of a circle as you can. Because um, there we go. So here's here's this little bunny. This will be a bunny. You know how it is. It always looks crazy at first. And then we somehow make it look nice. Oh, thank you. I, I'm, you know, I they prey on, I guess, the nice people. I don't know. I'm, I'm thankful. Uh, I th I'm thankful that I reacted quickly and everything was served. Nothing happened. So. Um, I knew it had happened. I shut everything down. I immediately reported it. So um, it could have been worse. It's just the problem is I got locked out. So now they're now I'm just waiting. I can tell you what though, if any of y'all magically have a number or anything to contact them, you let me know because there is literally no way of contacting Facebook. You just have to sit and wait for them. It's like a secret society. <laughs> okay. So here's bunny number two. We're going to start right in the middle again. And again, I'm just using canvas, leftover canvas that I had from one of those uh, six by eight canvas sizes. I just traced, I used a ribbon spool and I just traced that. So I'm just going to go ahead and let's glue this one. And the nice thing about when you're making tight circles is if you do it on something cardboard, um, canvas is nice and thin. That's why I'm doing the canvas. You can just hold it really tight, control over it that way. So that's what we're doing right now. Once this is good, we're going to start working on some ears next. And these are really good for all your tear trays that you made. So if you have your tear tray, hi, Nancy. If you have your tear tray, this would be really cute to go on there. And so I'm showing you a boy and a girl one. Um, so you can do more girls, more boys. Um, you know, one of each, I'm going to do one of each. You can use the darker nautical rope. I'm using the cotton nautical rope, but you can also use the, the more like jute twine looking rope. Um, but I wanted mine to be a bit softer looking, more shabby chic. So I thought this color rope would look really nice, but you can just use what you find. You can also do this with jute twine. If you don't have nautical rope or some kind of a yarn, like a chunky yarn or ribbon of some sort. And um, you just have to, you'd have to do a lot more rotations, but you could essentially take your yarn and braid it and create your own rope too. So if you don't have this, you can just literally see, you can see it's three pieces, just braid it and you can create a nautical rope that way too. It would literally just be some cotton yarn and then you could do it in a color that you like that way too. So just some different alternatives if you don't have um, this exact thing sitting at home. All right. And you're going to use some glue. That's for sure. <laughs> well, lucky me, I got a new glue gun thanks to Jackie. So I'm like the glue gun queen over here now. All right. So let's get this. This is finishing out this little section here. Holding it nice and tight. And then this is where it's going to finish off and we'll get it cut right here. So here we go. Let's cut this. Your husband's been hijacked twice. Oh my gosh. How long did it take for him to get it back? This is the cra this is the cra it's been a week. It was a week today. And I was for sure I'd have it back by now. I mean, I submitted my ID and verification on Tuesday. It's Sunday. So 
So I don't know. I don't know what, what to think. It's frustrating. What can you do though? I cried and then I, and then I had to stop crying about it because <laughs> it's, it's not worth. I just, it brought me down and I just I couldn't be down. I don't want to be down. I like being up. Okay. So I got this beautiful lace. Okay. And then I have, this is going to be for the boys. And this was last night you saw, I ended up cutting half of it off and I was like, I'll be right back. I felt like a, um, like I was on a show. So um, I have this and then we have this guy. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut some ears. And then I still have my rope here. You're still going to need this. So don't let that go anywhere. Let's cut some ear shapes with this. And you'll want to do it in relation to the size. So I'm going to just literally cut this in half. And then I'm going to cut this to look like bunny ears, essentially. Just kind of cut yourself an oval to where it tapers off at the top. And it doesn't need to be perfect because you'll see why in a minute. We're going to put some rope on it. But let's get the ear shape. We're cutting off the wired edges. Now, this ribbon has two sizes, sides to it. It has like a fuzzier buffalo plaid, and then it has non-fuzzy side. I'm going to use the fuzzy side for mine. So you can see here's just two little ears here. All right. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this rope, and I am going to go ahead, and I'm going to actually glue it around the shape of the ear. I'm going to actually get some of this down on top of my little mat here. Y'all can see that a little bit better with the color because it looks like it's blended in. There we go. That's a bit better. Okay. So let's go ahead and glue this down. Start here. I'm going to twist that end and hold that end down first. And get your frayed edges just past the bottom of the bunny ear. So you can uh, glue it to the back of the little pinwheel. Oh, <laughs> Susan, thank you for saying that. I, I felt so bad. I'm literally sitting there and I just looked at Mike and I was like, I don't know what to do. I was like, I literally don't know how to get in touch with them. And luck, thankfully I had Etsy because I, like, I was reaching out to, I, I was literally just sending messages to anybody who had bought anything on there. So thank you for those of you who have, because I was able to get in touch with you on there. But then I was like, wow, I, I don't know. what to do. So then people were sending me messages on Pinterest and, and they were finding me. But man, it literally looked like I just disappeared. It was weird. Okay, so here's one. You can see there it looks like a little ear. Let's do the other one. Let's do the other ear. And hopefully you guys like these. This actually, I'm going to show you another way. If you don't want to put it on a tear tray, another way where you can make it into just like a little sign or something for the house too. Because this is, I mean, literally it's very minimal material. So, so far I've used one thing of rope and a little piece of ribbon. That's, that's all I've gotten into it so far. So it, it is a, a really inexpensive little craft that you can do too. Oh, yeah. Okay. So here's that. Let's cut this off and let's attach these. So again, when you start getting those frayed edges, we're going to use just a little bit of glue and just kind of help hold it together a bit because that's the first thing they want to do this. This one thing about this rope. Now, the reason, another reason why I actually like using the canvas, you see how nice and flushed it is on that side and there's our rope. I liked having it on that side because this is where I'm going to attach my bunny uh, ears right on the back there. And it, and it has something to really grip onto. I was like, did I do something wrong? I wonder if she blocked me. You know, what was sad about it was um, I had so many people messaging me asking what they did that to make me block them. And that actually is what made me really break down because I told Mike, I said, I would never do that. I would never just block somebody, especially someone that I feel like I have a relationship with. And, um, so I, I was sad because I was like, I hope that that's not what everybody was thinking. Sorry, I'm going to get emotional. I hope that's not what everybody was thinking. And then that's what people thought. So I'm sorry. Y'all thought that I would have never done that. I, um, I'm going to get it back though. It will be all right. We're going to, we're just going to enjoy crafting and um, make some cute stuff together. That's what we're going to do. And if anybody asks you, you can let them know that for now, until I can 
um, get my other page made. I'm really trying to wait it out and let them fix it because I mean, I did submit my ID, so they have it. Um, so I'm really trying to wait it out because I think if I wait it out, I'll get back in, but who knows? Yeah. So, oh, see, that's why I, I, I had a feeling people were thinking that, which that stinks. All right. How cute. Look, see, it's like a little cute little bunny. Yeah, here's a little bunny and we got his little ears on there. So there's one and we're going to give him a bow tie. So he's got to have a little bow tie. So let's do that. All right. So we're going to fold this over. We're going to create, we're going to glue this back here. Let's see how long we want our bow tie to be. Let's give him a bow tie. And you can put eyeballs on yours or any of that. I'm leaving mine plain. I'm actually not going to be putting eyeballs or anything on it, but you, you can totally do that. I think it would look adorable. Give her a little pink blushy cheeks and things like that. But I'm just keeping mine more simple. Now, one thing you're going to notice that I'm going to do different between the boy and the girl is for the boy pinwheel, you'll notice I put this flap down at the bottom because it's going to be covered up by a bow tie. For the girl one, it's going to go on the top because it's going to become a little hair bow for her. So that's one thing you'll notice that I'll do different between the two of them. So I just took a little strip and I glued it together and we're just going to pinch and create a quick little bow tie for our little boy. So let's go ahead and wrap this with a little bit of jute twine. So I like an accordion. I'm just kind of pinching it to where it looks really cute in the middles and the ends. I'm going to put just a little dab of glue on the back. I'm going to hold it down with my finger, let it stick. Oh, hey, Don. Yeah. Oh, I, you know, I, we, we do have to stick together. So thank you. Thank you. I'm so glad y'all are finding me. I thought the same thing and I searched Facebook seen Southern craft corner and I said, that's not her. <laughs> no, there is a Southern craft corner. And I think they've actually had their page longer than me, but it's like a small little vinyl business in like Alabama or something. And I was like, Oh, I didn't even know they had my name. And I realized that after when I told Mike, I was like, can they even search? Me? Like, am I even, and my personal page is gone. That's the crazy part. Cause I would have just gone live on my personal page and you know, but nope, my personal page has got shut down too. Crazy. So yeah, my family was all freaking out. They're like, where'd you go? Is everything okay? <laughs> hey, you know what? I'm safe. I'm healthy. I'm good. You know, my family's safe, so I can't complain. Sometimes that's the risks of being on the internet, you know? It just makes you more cautious is all. Oh, I just realized something I did with this ear. I got to fix that real quick, you guys. I put the fuzzy side on the wrong side real quick, and I don't think it's going to come off. Wow, it really does stick on there, doesn't it? All right, give me one second. We got to fix that. I'll fix it. I'll fix it later. Let me keep going. I'll fix it. I'm laughing at it, though, because I'm looking at it, and it definitely looks different. Okay, well, let's put this little bow on here. All right, look how cute. Here's our little boy bunny. Little boy. The little girl's gonna be so cute too. Is Mike gonna cut bunny butts? Yes, we have some bunny butts in the garage right now, actually. So we have a bunny butt um, and it has the little feet. And then we have bunny silhouettes on there right now too, actually a couple of y'all have gotten them. So I gotta fix that ear, that ear is on there. But here we go, here's this one. Roxanne, I could not agree with you more. So here's this little guy. All right, and then let's do our little girl. So we're gonna put that one on the top this time. And then we're going to use this for our ears on this one. So I'm excited because this lace is just so beautiful. Flip this over. We're going to do the same thing. We're just going to cut two pieces. Let's make it the same length. So I'm just going to kind of use this as an example here. I'm going to cut two little pieces of this. We got it right about here. And then let's get our little girl ears going. But these, I just thought were too adorable. I was like, these are too adorable not to make my own little spin on them and craft it with my little crafting family. I just think these are too dang cute. And I have a feeling everybody's going to have little bunny pinwheels after this. They're too cute. Okay, so let's cut these. 
at least shape it a little bit more. Sometimes it's kind of hard with the lace to shape it the way you want, but we'll just cut off a little bit of excess where we can and get that oval top to it and go from there. Let's do these. Here. I'm having a little bit harder time with that. There we go. Same thing with this one. Just get a little bit more oval shape. There we go. Her ears look a little bit chunkier than the boys. Let's shape these out a little bit more. That one looks really good. This one looks a little crooked. Here we go. Do that. There we go. Okay. So let's do the same thing with our rope. We're gonna attach it to the front of these. I'm so glad I found you. Life has been a little rough for me. My husband is so glad I found you. Aw, tell him hello. Tell him Alyssa is in the background again. <laughs> He's, they all know my voice too. That was the funny part. Someone was like, my husband is like, Where, where's Alyssa? Why isn't she on? <laughs> I was like cracking up. Mike goes, that's so funny that they, they just know it's, I'm like, no, you don't understand. It's like a thing. It was, a, it was, it was crafting time. Like we were, it was, that's it. Like it was our time. We were all together. So it, it meant a lot to me to hear from y'all. So thank you. I'm glad I'm, I'm thankful that you all checked in on me and, you know, we're here together. All right. If I have just enough rope, how cool would that be? I think I might. One thing a rope can make exactly two bunnies. That would be like the coolest thing ever. I love when that happens, like accident. Oh my gosh. Look, you guys, that is crazy. I love when that happens. It's like, yes, I don't have to open up another package. I was thinking I was going to have to open another package, but I don't. So that's good. Here you, Dana. My husband was. I was on Facebook every five minutes looking. Oh, Jackie, closing my door. It's Alyssa time. Don't be coming up in here, y'all. That's crafting time. So I tell my kids, I'm like, uh uh, as long as on the, if mommy is on my little video, y'all need to, don't come in here. <laughs> I love you. You're adorable, but don't come in here. All right. Here's that one. Okay, see, here's our little, here's our little lacy ears. We got our little bunny lacy ears. All right, let's do the same on this side. And this, because it's lace, I'm actually gluing on to the rope first, because uh, it it doesn't, you know, stick. On, there's not a, a flat surface for it to grip onto, so I am um, gripping on to the rope. And then what I'm gonna do with that, just another glue stick here. I upgraded and got real big glue sticks. <laughs> I was so excited that I could buy really big glue sticks. So once we have this one on here, what I was doing, I was just using this little spatula after it dries to get it off. So that, that's kind of how I got it off really quick. So this one's dry, this one's not. Let's get this in place. These are gonna be so cute. <sighs> I love these already. I have a feeling my mom's going to want some of these. I enjoy my crafting family too. Yeah. Hopefully this allows for replay too. I don't know how you, I really don't know how YouTube works. But like I said, if I'm not back on in a day or two, I'm just going to have a new page and we'll be back to normal live streams. I just wanted to get on here and give it a little bit more time before I went through all that work of creating another one. Because if, you know, if I end up getting it back, I'll just end up deleting the new one. But I'm, I'm kind of getting impatient. I'm not going to lie. I'm getting very impatient. All right. Here's this one. Let's get this on. Did I get it off? Yep. All right. Okay. So we got this goes in the middle. Let's get let's get our glue. And again, I can't stress enough, this canvas is actually working out perfectly. So if you have any of that laying around, don't throw it out if you're cutting it off and creating any of those crafts with the popsicle sticks and the little canvases, because this really works perfectly for this. Let's flip this over. The lace is not gripping exactly. So this would be one where we, we would definitely need to make sure the glue is where the rope is on this one. 
Um, not the lace because it's not gripping the lace. It's gripping the rope really good though. So just a little, little trick as I'm learning this one. That will be one thing. If you do make it, just make sure that you um, glue your rope down really good. I have not been feeling well and not craft time with Alyssa to help distract me from feeling bad. Aw. Opa! Hi. How are you? I'm glad you found me on here. Okay. So here's our little girl. Here's a little girl bunny. She got cute little pink lacy ears. And they stick up pretty good with the little nautical rope. One thing we can do too is we'll see how, how well they stand up. But we could probably hide some sticks back there too to get them to stick up a little bit more. All right. We're going to cut one more piece of this. We're going to cut our um, lace. I got some lace ribbon here. And we're going to just create a really cute little bow for her on the top of her head. So let's do this. This will be up there. We'll use some of this. We'll cut this one. Okay. And then I got these cute little burlap little roses. These are from Dollar Tree. So I really like those. So we're going to use one of those too. All right. Let's do this. Let's get her all set up. Let's see, what do I wanna do with this? Maybe I wanna do one of these. I think I wanna do one of these, yeah. Let me cut one more piece of this pink. I'm gonna cut this white in half. Cut the pink. I just love this pink. This little blush pink is such a pretty color. It's really perfect for Easter. These are so cool. I've actually never crafted with these. I'm really enjoying it. I love the look of it. All right, let's do this. We're gonna do this, do this. We're gonna tie this cute little bow. And then we're gonna use our little rose in the middle part. So I'm just gonna take one little tiny piece of jute and we're just gonna tie it around here. We're gonna go front to back. It's just a crisscross X. Two layers, pink, then white lace, then pink lace, then white lace. And then I'm just going to tie this, double knot it real quick. I've set my alarm for, oh, <laughs> patience is not my superpower. Mine either. I, I've had quite a bit of meltdowns this week. I usually am a very calm and have a, like a calm demeanor to me, but I've been really upset. Not going to lie. I got, I got ugly there for a minute or two. And then I said, okay, yeah, snap out of that. That's, that's bringing me down here. But man, I had some ugly things to say about that hacker. All right, there's that. Let's get this on here. And that again is going right on top of where we had that little, um, just the little bump, which now you don't even see it. Now I'm going to put this little, I'm going to put this little bow. How do I want to do this? I wanted to put it here, but I think it's going to stick out too far. So I think what I'm going to do is actually put it right on top there. Let's see how that looks. Put that right in there. And then push this up a little bit more. Yeah, we're going to do it like this. I'm taking two steps back here for a second. I'm putting this bow up further. Let's put this bow up further because I want this, I want this little rose to go up further. There we go. That's better. Now it can go up here. Whoop, almost lost it. Okay, let me hold this for a second. Were you able to find out who the hacker was? Yes, actually. So it was happening actually while I was on there. So I reacted very quickly. Uh, <laughs> I don't personally know them. I just know it was not someone I knew. Okay, look how cute. Here's our little girl. Here's our little girl. So you have your little boy and you have your little girl. And I just think they're so darling. So these are something that you can put on your little tear tray. You can put them on a um, little serving tray. I actually think they'd look nice too if you have like a little area that you want to lean them up against and set them up. 
Um, let me show you too. One thing you can do if you want to make like a um, a picture out of them, the six by eight. I have it right here. The six by eight canvas is a really good size for one of these two. So what you can do is I would actually, you can take it out. Let's just open one. Just open, I don't need this right now. So we'll take this out. And then when you take, this is actually the canvas that I saved and used for the back of the bunnies. So um, I hope they are. Coasters. Yes, that's a cute idea, Kathy. Um, so Facebook is, okay, so there's really nobody contact. We'll just put it that way. And so when it happened, they know that I, they know that things happened. Um, I submitted the information that I needed to submit on my end, but now I'm literally just sitting and waiting. So I, I just, there's literally nothing I can do until it comes back on. So yeah, I just wait. So this I took off. That's what's on the back of these is I saved this. But this wooden frame, we use these a lot. So we've used these for quite a bit of crafts. So here's one right here. This. So this. This. I promised myself I wouldn't still stand up and show you all my shorts because I know it's so cold. So I'm sorry. But this was one of these. So we had used the popsicle stick trick on this. But this size would actually be really cute for one of these too. So you could literally layer this right on top, glue the ears right on the corners of this, and then you could make a beautiful picture out of this. You can do a double set to where you have your boy and your girl bunny. So if you had two of them, this was one thing of nautical rope. So for $3, you could have three pieces that you would need. And, um, you know, you could also be able to create two little hangers and make two little signs out of them too. So I think that would be really cute too, but I just, this is so cute. I'm going to take a really cute picture of this too. So y'all can see it really good and post it on there, but these are adorable. <laughs> Shorts. <no. gasps> can we email you? Is your Etsy shop gone? My Etsy shop's not gone. No, my Etsy shop's still there. Thank y'all for still going there and ordering. We appreciate it. Um, that really um, definitely hurt us for a minute there, you know, not having access to be able to talk to y'all about it, but that is definitely still there. It's Southern Crafts Corner with no space. And um, my email is just Southern Crafts Corner at Hotmail. So I'm, I know you and I emailed. So yeah, but so that's an idea you can do with that and um, get that, get these little guys, you know, on those. But you can add faces to them too. I actually really love the idea of it being a coaster. I didn't even think of that. How cute would these be if you just had them sitting on your coffee table like that? And we'll just pretend like this is a cup. And then you would have to flatten out your ears a bit. But that would be that would be so cute. I mean, that would be so cute. Like a little, like your little hot coffee mug on there in the morning. And then you just have your boy and girl sitting there like that. I mean, that would be so cute. So anyways... That was a really fast craft tonight. I didn't think those were going to be that fast, but I mean, how that's actually kind of nice that you can craft them that fast and make some of these. Um, if you make them, send me a picture. I'd love to see them. And, um, you know, I, again, I, if I have to, if I'm not back tomorrow night on Facebook, I'll be back on here again, but by Tuesday I'll be back on Facebook and I'll just message y'all that I'll be on there going live there again. Southern Crafts Corner at Hotmail. Yep. That's it. That's my email. Yeah, I have a website too, southerncraftscorner.com. And there's a message on there about my Facebook right now too. And, and you can contact me through there too. So yeah. Okay. I'm going to chat with y'all for a minute and see if anything else is on here. And then I will let y'all go. It was a really quick craft tonight, but I'm so excited how they came out. And I hope you guys make them again. It was a dollar. Everything else I already had. I had the ribbon, I had the lace. So you guys could probably make these. And if you don't have nautical rope, grab some yarn and braid it and you can make these too. I actually might try that just to, to do it in a different color because I might want to make some pink ones or some purple ones or whatever color, you know? So anyways, thank you all for coming on here and finding me. I know it's not the same. Um, Dana, it's right above your message, Southern Crafts Corner at Hotmail. 
So it's just the name of my page. So Southern Crafts Corner at Hotmail.com. Yep. So email me, reach out anytime. But again, I am, someone had mentioned to me about doing one of those text message things. And I never had looked into that before, but I realized that if I had, I probably would have handled the message y'all a lot faster about what happened. So I'm going to be looking into that too. <laughs> so good night. Thank you all for being on. I'll see you tomorrow. We'll craft again. And then again, um, if I'm not back by tomorrow night, I will um, be on Tuesday on a new page and I'll message you all. Um, it's probably just gonna be Southern Crafts Corner too, because I'm not very original and I really don't want to change my name. <laughs> So good night. I'll see y'all soon. Bye.